Central Terminal. Yes, indeed it is terminal and not station because the lines that come here all terminate, apart from the subway which is separate. Now we have been here many times because it's just a fabulous building to visit. It's cavernous, um, it is so busy yet it's not overly noisy. There's a buzz around the place which could almost send you to sleep. Um, because it just it's, it just feels so relaxing and of course you can see all the people behind us um, walking around to get their trains um, unlike somewhere like uh, Victoria or Waterloo or Paddington in London it seems rather calm in comparison now it's got this fabulous ornate ceiling which um, at night time is all lit up even in the day there's a few twinkling lights that you might be able to see I'm not sure what it shows it looks like sort of um, creatures from Game of Thrones or something like that. It's not, of course. Um, now, we have taken trains here um, to various places, including to White Plains, which is in upstate New York, didn't we, Paul? Yes, we certainly did. And it wasn't such a long journey either. In addition to that, in the winter time, especially during Christmas, they do have these Christmas markets, these stalls set up in these in various locations throughout Grand Central Terminal. Now it's hard to believe that in the 1960s I think it was that the authorities wanted to demolish this absolutely fabulous building. So thank goodness it has survived. options available at Grand Central. Not as many as there may have been at one time but we have come for breakfast and at the Grand Central Market we have got two traditional New York breakfast rolls so let's take a look at what we're going to eat. I've gone for the traditional New Yorker with cheese and bacon and it's in a soft roll mm. and of course you must have coffee as well. And what are you having, Paul? I'm having a Central Market egg. It is um, sausage, egg, cheese maybe, um, on a muffin. And I need my 20 ounce iced coffee because it's really hot outside. If you are at Grand Central between 11.30 and 6, you could visit the New York Transit Museum Annex shop and sometimes they've got little exhibitions on. At Christmas, if you're here, um, between November and uh, beginning of January, they usually have a large train set and it's just fabulous the way it's put together. Um, but you can buy uh, bits of like subway memorabilia, um, souvenirs, yeah, like mugs, mouse mats, pens and pencils, all that sort of stuff. Well, we're coming up towards Vanderbilt Hall. Now, there's a couple of things to tell you about this. I can remember one time I came over 
in June or July and they were showing Wimbledon tennis on a big screen around here somewhere um, it was in this area in fact I think it's where the security are over there so we're not going to go too far up there and the other interesting thing about the Vanderbilt area just below it if you come down outside the oyster bar and you look for this pattern on the ceiling these are the whispering walls they're very famous now I don't know if it's going to work but basically what happens is if one person stands in the corner at one side and whispers into the wall and someone stands on the opposite side over there and listens they're supposed to be able to hear what they say so I am going to get Paul to stand over there and whisper Should and I record yes 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 you record what you're saying and don't forget you need to whisper so you're not going to actually say anything loud you need to whisper and you need to actually say it right in right into the corner of the wall all right so. and I am going to go over to the other side and I'm just going to stick my ear to the wall and stick this one word camera in like a sentence. oh I would I would like a sentence so you can say whatever you like keep it clean <laughs> so I'm gonna go over there now and we'll see what happens so I'm gonna stick my ear right in here and the camera's going in Don't you just love the summer heat? Mark is that side. Mark is that side. No, you need to sit on that side. Yeah. But from there to there. Diagonal. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to start again. A nice gentleman has just come up and he has said that you actually have to stand Diagonal. diagonally. Oh, it sounds like Harry Potter. A diagonally? Yeah. So we'll have another go. So Paul will whisper in that side and I am going to go over away over there to that side. Now, are we sure that's going to work? Okay. Why don't you tell me what you're going to say, because I heard you speaking, but it was actually you calling me before. So, what are you going to say? Shouldn't I just say it into my camera? What, without telling me? Yeah. Okay, so as I can't lie. <laughs> yeah. Okay, right, let's have another okay. go. We'll go over here. It is a beautiful ceiling, though. Oh, I can actually hear an echo now. All right, we'll go right in. I can hear you. I can hear you. You're talking about the summer heat. Well, I heard what he said. I don't know if he heard what I said. Did you hear me? I spoke back. I remember hearing something, but it was Did you stick your ear right in? No. Okay. I heard you say that you can't stand the summer heat or something like that. I said, I said, don't you just love the summer heat? Yeah, so I got the summer heat. So I will say something back and you stick, you've got to stick your ear literally right into the corner. Okay. Okay, 
So let's see if you can hear what I say. Right, we'll try it this way right now. Going back into the corner, and this time I'm going to speak. Let's make sure that. I guess that's not. Hello. Okay. Hello. Can you hear me? Okay. If you can hear me, I'm going to say, if you like what you see, please subscribe. If you like what you see, please subscribe. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Okay. Let's see. Did you hear anything? It sounds like muffled, but I think it was something about let's go do something soon. Okay, well, uh, what I actually said was if you like what you see, then please subscribe. No, for me, I think the audio stuff was uh, coming up and I think the, the excess wind. Did you whisper when you spoke or was it? I, no, I didn't whisper. I did a mixture of whispering and talking. So anyway, it does prove that it, I suppose it depends on how much noise is in the area, but very echoey. It I does think. work because if you actually stand in the middle here, there is an echo right here. So yeah, if you are at Grand Central, you might want to try this out. Where do you go for great views like this? Our show, of course. Ah, absolutely. So please subscribe. Marcus, we've made it. This is another one of our old haunts. We've been coming here for over 20 years to the Waverley restaurant. It is a typical diner. Now, we haven't been here for five years, so we're hoping that it hasn't changed too much because it really did have a traditional feel of an old style diner with absolutely superb service and excellent food. So let's go in and take a look. The Waverly Diner has voted to the top 20 best diners in America by Time Out Magazine. That's a good accolade to have. It does seem a lot more spacious and a lot more cooler, I think. So I think it has improved its um, spacing and the seating. So yeah, I, I'm sure you will agree that it's much better. Here's a little bit of history about the owner, the founder of the Waverly. What I always remember about the Waverly was you could order like the individual burger 
or you could go for deluxe and that meant that it was served with the french fries and all the bits and pieces Coles just mentioned that there is breakfast available and it's lunchtime but you never know I might go for a breakfast Marcus I was really bad oh no I ordered a pizza burger deluxe it comes with chips and also um onion rings you know if i am gonna do it i'm gonna do it right so it's everything in moderation i'm not always gonna order it so it's not gonna be that bad is it i have ordered a single egg scrambled with bacon oh my god if the bacon is what it used to be like it is to die for it would be american streaky bacon just nicely crisped up now I could either have got it with hash browns or with uh, fries and toast now the thing is the hash browns over here it's more like um, sauteed potato. Sauteed potato, so it's not like a, a hash brown as you'd get in the UK but I wanted the toast so I had to get the fries with it as well and I've got a Diet Coke Paul's got a ginger ale so I haven't ordered a beer even though I was really tempted to do so I think I'll have one or two later, so yeah. And we're just gonna get the full Waverly experience here today. Wow, look at this. So I've got my scrambled egg, my bacon as I remembered it, my fries, and over here, I've got my buttered toast with Smucker's Concord grape jelly, yay! Doesn't this look appetizing? I have my pizza burger on top. I have my gherkin. I have some cheese on the on the top side of the bun. My lettuce and tomato. I have my chips. I have an onion ring and I have coleslaw. Yep, this is going to make me go into food coma mode later, so Let's dig in, people. Yours looks amazing, Marcus. Well, I want to get started. Okay, be rude, eat. Mm. <laughs> I am. Wow, we're having dessert. We're what having the fresh fruit sundae. Yeah, Thank you. Oh my goodness. And it even comes with a cherry on the top. So, let's tuck in. Please subscribe! When you talk about Wall Street, you're talking about the financial center of New York and the New York Stock Exchange. Now, it is actually on Wall Street, which is up there. It's the street that we walked along, but the entrance to it, uh, where it says New York Stock Exchange, is actually on Broad Street. So perhaps we should say we're going to go to Broad Street.